Today I will be showing you the best way to grade F-Log2, and that is using the enhancer and how this can get you a classic film look. First when you have your footage what you're going to do is come to the effects tab, then type the enhancer. Drag it and drop it on. Now you will see right now everything looks grainy, kind of gross, doesn't look good at all. But what you're going to do, scroll down, choose camera, Fujifilm, and now you can see already you have F-Log2. And there, now it's converted to F-Log2. If you haven't heard of Dehancer, go watch my video here on what it is and what it's about. And if you want to get it, I have a code FUJICINEMA to get you 10% off of your purchase. But the reason why I say this is the best for Fujifilm is because you can get any film look, you can even get the true eternal look using this program. I will raise the exposure until it's like right around here. Now I have perfect exposure and you can see the colors are amazing. And if we compare this to the color space transform, if we go to color space transform here, do rec 2020, Fujifilm F-Log, Gamma 2.4 and 709, you can see it's similar, but you can see the greens aren't as vibrant. You can see it loses a lot of vibrancy and a lot of like the true color. Whereas this program, it makes it like really vibrant, really punchy. It looks so beautiful. So let's see, Dehancer. Now, if this is your first time using this plugin, basically you got your exposure, your temperature, your tint controls here. Scroll down, you have film simulations basically. And this is a lot like how Fujifilm has its simulations in camera, but this has like a wide variety of like film simulations. Like you have Velvia Pro 400H, and if I can find it, you even have Codex. You have actual film simulations of motion picture film, which is really useful. And you can see this one creates like a beautiful pastel look. And if I can find it, you have Provia, which Provia is a simulation on Fujifilm and it was an actual film and they recreate it here. So here you have like a film simulation of the film Provia already built into this program. And you can even push it or pull it, which basically means you can overexpose the film stock. Very technical. Go watch my other video if you haven't seen it yet. And here you can even see we have Fujifilm Turna. And this kind of looks like the Eterna LUT, but it's a little bit different. It looks more film-like. And you also have Rayella 500D, which is another film stock. But right now, I don't want to use that. I want to use the actual colors of Fujifilm, but you can experiment with that. Then you have the film developer. Here you can just adjust different things like the contrast, color boost, film compression helps to get rid of those really high highlights and helps it make it look more like film and you can be very subtle with it. So let's say I don't want to compress it too much but I want to compress it a little bit. And it helps just to bring back those highlights that you don't want to be overexposed. And this has already put the F-Log2 at like a Rec. 709. But if you really want to get the most out of this, I suggest going to like under a glossy paper which is pretty much the same thing. But you have these like film simulations here that give it like the Fujifilm print look. And you also have the Kodak print. This would be like Marvel, Lord of the Rings, and this one would be like Christopher Nolan type stuff. I want to go with like the main glossy paper. And here, this tab is probably like the most useful tab. And you can adjust the exposure here, but as you can see in the waveforms, it doesn't clip the highlights. Because before, it would clip the highlights, but here it has like a nice roll off into the highlights. So really you can raise this a lot and get a really kind of pastel looking image. Then you can also do color density, which makes the really, really vibrant colors deeper and richer. And you can even do the opposite effect. Then if the saturation is too much, you can bring that down. Then you can put it on analog range limiter. Then you have a bunch of other effects here, but you can see here, it gives it a really film-like look. You can also add halation, which you can't really see it here, but when there's very bright areas in the footage, it gives it this warm kind of like wrap around here in the highlights. You can also get bloom, which helps it almost look like a fairy tale. And this just helps to create like a more film-like look. Film damage, which basically creates little specks of dust. And you'll see as I go through here, there's like little dust specks popping up. 
Usually I don't enable this, or if I do enable it, I bring it like all the way down. Then you have film breath. This just creates a breath. You can't really see it, like it does happen a little bit with the 35, but you'll see it most with the 8mm, and you'll see how it's changing exposure and it's changing the tint. So the 35, you can just bring it on here. Gate weave, also very important. It creates a shift, and if you see with 8mm, it really shakes it. And it's basically just shaking it, and this is like something you see in film where it'll shake like that, and I'll leave it at 35 millimeter. And you can see how fast you can get a beautiful film look with your F-Log2 footage, where as in DaVinci Resolve, if you want to color space transform your F-Log footage, there is no F-Log2 option. There's only F-Log, so you would have to do a lot of correcting yourself to get the exact look you want. So here, you can see the difference. Kind of crunchy, kind of looks kind of bad even if we raise the exposure here like we did with the other one look at the difference here this is just what da vinci has right out of the gate then we have what the enhancer has and obviously i've edited this a lot so it looks really good right now but right out of the gate even if i were to edit this it probably would only get a little bit close to this whereas this looks really good and it took very little time so if you want to get Dehancer, my promotion code is Fuji Cinema, and you can go to their site and it'll help you get 10% off. It is expensive, but for me at least, it is well worth it. Now that you finally know how to get the best color grade possible with F-Log2 footage, I recommend watching this video here on three other ways to grade F-Log.